Hello, good evening, Gabi. Hello, I want to see you. Hello, London. How are you? Very well, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Good to hear you. All right. What about the other ones? Let's check. Tenemos a Samuel. Hi, Samuel. How are you? Hi, teacher. Muy bien. Excellent. Very good to hear you. All right. Welcome back to your English class, everybody. Uh, right now we are just training the classroom. No sé por qué no se van conectado los demás, all right? Esperemos que se vayan conectando y siempre animarlos a que se conecten a la hora que es, ¿verdad? Su horario establecido. Um, a las nueve o unos minutitos antes de las nueve. Problemas de conexión. Hello, good evening, Damaris. How are you? Very good. I'm good. Um, and you? I'm great. I'm great. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much no, for no. asking. <laughs> All right. Everyone, the traffic outside is so terrible right now. Quizás por el tráfico muchos no se puedan conectar ahora, right? But let's hope for the better. Esperemos que a lo mejor si se conecta al final. Que sea. Hello, Miss. Hello, Lorena. How are you? Bien, Miss. Muchas gracias. Good, excellent. All right. Broccoli is good for you, everybody. Class 11, all right? Miren qué rápido va el tiempo con ustedes, all right? Ya mañana tienen la clase 12. Boom, la otra semana, cuatro clasecitas más, and that's it. You are dismissed. Despachados al siguiente nivel, excellent. Very good. Cuatro clasecitas más de las próximas semanas. Y eso es todo. O sea, yo siento que se pasa un poquito más rápido el tiempo, right? Así como están tomando el curso ustedes. So let's check. What are nouns? Ahora no lo voy a, no les voy a pedir que me digan la respuesta a las preguntas que usualmente le hago, right? Pero sí quiero que me digan qué son los nouns, right? O qué es un noun. Let's check. Let's have. See. Lorena, Lorena, tell me. Hi, Marlon. How are you? I'm fine. So I feel a little cold, but it's strange because I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't know, say so please. Ah, um, I don't suffer. Okay, I suffer cold, but right now, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's raining a lot. Está lloviendo bastante. That might be the reason. Esa puede ser que sea la razón, Marlon. All right, let's check. Let's have Lorena. Okay, Lorena, read. Tell me what are nouns. Dígame, ¿qué son los nouns? Your microphone, Lorena. Lorena, su micrófono. Oh, no. Ahorita, ahorita ya, ya sé, ya. Sustantivos ya. no contables. Ajá. Hello. Hi, yes. Sustantivos no contables. No, vaya. Ayer vimos exactamente lo que tiene aquí en la pantalla ahorita, Lorena. Lo de ¿Sí? what are nouns. Eso quiero que me lea. Eso lo... Uy, se le pone el mic. Okay. Yeah. Uh, es de algo que se está hablando. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. But I don't want to know in Spanish. No quiero saberlo en español. I want you to know. Okay. Yeah. All right. A noun, a person, uh -huh. a place, or a thing, uh -huh. in the other word, many things that you see. I don't know. Arounds. Around. Around. Are known. Excellent. Very good, Lorena. Thank you. Now let's listen to Gabby. Gabby, what are nouns? A noun, a person, a place, or a thing in other words, many things that you see around you are a noun. 
All right, yeah, nouns, our nouns. Let's check. Let's go with Samuel. Samuel, what are nouns? Uh, uh, nouns, uh, persons, pl uh, place, or thing. In the other words, many things that you see are now you are known. Okay, thank you, Samuel. Let's go with a fourth person. Vamos a escuchar a una cuarta persona. A ver si me sigue, me sigue poniendo una palabra que no está ahí, pero la están leyendo. Let's check. Vamos con eh, Damaris, Isabel. Let's check. Léame de nuevo qué es un noun. A noun. A person, a place, or a thing. In other words, many things that you see around you you are announced all right excellent thank you damaris okay listen you guys es logré escuchar que muchos me dijeron in the other words right hay una diferencia entre decir in the other words y in other words right in other words es en otras palabras pero cuando usted dice in the other words es como si usted estuviera diciendo en las otras palabras, right? You see, it changed context, cambia el contexto, el definite article. And another thing, una cosa es que la pregunta diga, what are nouns, lleve la S, y otra cosa es lo que ya dice la información, que dice a noun, no dice a nouns, porque no puede tener un indefinido, un definitivo, like the article, the indefinite article, con la S al final de noun, right? Puede decir nouns o a noun, pero nunca va a decir a nouns, right? Let's check those things from reading. Son cosas pequeñas que quizás ahorita ustedes piensan, teacher, pero no es tan importante. Sí, llega a ser relevante, right? It's about getting used to see or getting used to read what you see. Now, let's go with the next one. Let's listen to, well, we have some and any. Count and non count nouns. Vamos a pedirle a Kenia, please, Kenia Corvera, que nos lea las preguntas. Y Diego Calderón, usted responde. All right, solo son one and two questions. Dos preguntas, Kenia. Diego, usted tiene más que practicar porque tiene two answers. Action, Kenia. Okay. Uh, do, do we need any ads? Microphone. Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't any egg. Okay. Bread. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Kenya. Very good. Bye, Kenya. Usted no estoy en la clase, right? Entonces. Léame los count nouns y los non count nouns, please. Ok, en et, eh, en et, en et, eh, et. Uh -huh. A sandwich, sandwiches. Eh, los otros, creo que era. Bread. Non, se pronuncia uh -huh. non, non count, count, count nouns. Non count nouns. Eh, bread. Eh, la, limon, limon, limon. Limon. Lemonade. Uh -huh. Excelente. Yeah, yeah, no, no puedo estar dicho. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, no se preocupe, right? Pero sí, okay, trato de fijarme you. quiénes me hacen falta para ponerlo a practicar el siguiente día, right? <laughs> okay, gracias. Let's, you're welcome, honey. Let's go with the next one. Katia Kangura, let's check. Katia, veamos si le funciona el audio para que me lea las oraciones en specific and general. Specific. I am eating an eggs. Let's go some bread. General, eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. Excellent. Thank you, Katia. Very good to hear you. Now, everybody, let's check this. Bye. Ustedes saben que con el verb to be tenemos different pronunciations, right? We have the short form. En the long form. Tenemos la forma larga y la forma contractada. Cuando está el I, o sea, la I, y luego aparece 
a m a m se pronuncia i am right pero en este caso como solo está la i la i con el apostrofe m se pronuncia am am irina ne right ese es esa es como la clave principal de la contraction right hacerlo pues más corto y más Fácil de recordar. I'm eating an egg. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con las siguientes personas. Eh, Carla, Melissa, you ask. Usted va a hacer estas dos preguntas. Lorena Álvarez, usted contesta esas dos questions. All right. Action. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get. Let's get. Some eggs, eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Excellent, thank you. Let's go with Marlon. Marlon, tell me the count nouns and the non-count nouns that we have in here, please. Okay, count nouns and X and X and sandwich and sandwiches. Now count out nouns, bread and lemonade. Aha, lemonade or lemonade? Uh, lemonade. Excellent. <laughs> Very good. Let's go with the next one. Ahora vamos con, let me check, let me check. Mm -hmm. Gabi, read the sentences in specific, please, and general. A specific. Um, 18 and 8. Let's get some bread. General, eggs are food for you. Bread is good for you. Excellent. Thank you, Gabi. All right, there you go, guys. These are just for, I know it's the same content as yesterday's class. Sé que el mismo contenido de ayer, pero como yo quiero que siempre recuerden cuáles son los non-count nouns, cómo se formulan preguntas con el non-count nouns o con los count nouns, all right? Entonces, usted tiene que practicar as much as you can, lo más que pueda. Now, let's listen to this part. Tenemos la practice time. Esta la hicimos ayer. Si no tengo un déjà vu, sí sé que la hicimos ayer, all right? Now, algunos de ustedes pasaron. Eh, voy a tratar de nombrar ahorita algunos de los que pasaron. Creo que fueron Diego, all right? Eh, creo que Marlon dijo una. Lorena, usted sí la dijo, all right, Lorena? And, and let me check. ¿Quiénes más pasaron? Uh -huh. Solo ellos. Damaris, ¿usted pasó ayer? ¿O no? Yo no tuve internet de ayer. Se fue la luz aquí. No me pude conectar. Ah, ok. Ah, ok. Don't worry. Now, let's go with... Vaya, bueno, yo les digo, don't worry. It's just to be nice, right? <risa> Pero no es que no se deben preocupar. Sí, porque su responsabilidad es que si no entra a una clase, vea la record. Tiene que ver la grabación para que el siguiente día usted lleve un poco del contexto de la clase, right? Esas son las ventajas de estudiar en línea. Y Karen, creo que ella sí pasó ahí, ¿ok? Let's listen to Samuel, entonces escuchemos a Samuel, sus oraciones, después de Samuel, Gabriela. I need some, no, per, excuse me, I need some mangoes. Mm -hmm. I don't need any carrot. Excellent. Very good, Samuel. Excellent. Let's go with um, Gabriela. Yeah. I eat some chicken. She cooks some cookies. He doesn't need any bread. Excellent. Very good, Gabi. Excellent. Let me check another one. Vamos a ver quién más nos pasó ayer. Sí. Katia, usted no estuvo en la clase. I don't know if you check the recording. Carla Melisa, usted sí estuvo ayer en la clase. 
Sí. You need some orange. <clears throat> I don't need any lemonade. <clears throat> Excellent, very good. I don't need any lemonade, all right? Very good. Let's go with, vamos a ver, quien más. Los que estuvo ayer pasó. Well, I think all of you already complete this part. Let's move on to the conversation, y'all. Let's check. Para eso ya tenemos un poquito, un poquito mucho de contenido. <laughs> okay, let's see. Fish for breakfast. Pescado para desayunar. Let's see. Sarah and Kumiko. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really, what do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. So, fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. <laughs> That's a politely way to say no. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con los siguientes para que practiquen. Eh, Victor Gutierrez, let's see si le funciona el microphone o el audio. Sí, me escucha. Yes, sí, le escuchamos. Okay, no. usted va a ser Sara. Eh, Karen Escalante, usted va a ser conmigo. Action. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a soup and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Very good job. Let's go with the next pair. Let's see. Solo haciendo una eh, intervención aquí, everyone. La palabra interesting. All right. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Ahora sí, vamos con Katia Canjura. Ustedes, Sarah, Samuel. Déjeme ver si no me estoy equivocando de apellido. Uh -huh. Yes. I can. I I wanna say. I'm I'm gonna say one thing. Yeah. Oh, anything. So, is interesting or interesting? Interesting. Okay. It's interesting. That's the correct pronunciation. Okay. Interesting. No. Is a uh, another words? No, it or... doesn't exist. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't exist. Lo que pasa es que como lo ven en cuatro sílabas, siempre me pronuncian esa. Y pasa con todos los learners, all right? Que me dice interesting. Y es interesting, como si solo tuviera tres. Okay. All right, ah. interesting. Okay. Yes, it's, it's just a matter of custom, you guys, right? Solo es de practicar mucho la palabra para acostumbrarnos. Como But. palabras como order, all right? Se escribe order. Pero no se pronuncia la de. Order. Order, exactly. As well, important. 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 Exactly, exactly. Mom. Mom. Exactly. También walk. Nosotros no decimos walk. Hasta es más difícil de, tratar de, de, la de caminar. Ajá, exactly. Walk. Sino que decimos walk. Walk, 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 talk, talk, walk, walk, talk. Ajá, exactly. There you go. So, yeah, it's just a matter of costume. Solo es. Toma un poquito acostumbrarse, pero no es imposible. Right? Entre más la practiquen, mejor les va a salir. Let's check. Vamos con... Dije Karen... No, Katia Canguna. Usted va a ser Sara. Diego Calderón. Usted va a ser... Kumiko. Yes. 
Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, okay. Come, come, come to my come house. To my house. Emily, Emily always has always a Japanese, Japanese style, style breakfast, breakfast, breakfast on Sunday. On Sundays. Really? What do do? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast. That interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to treat new times. Excellent. And let me see, uh, Katia, repeat after me. Things. Things. See, sorry. <laughs> very good. Very good, you guys. Al principio, Diego se escuchaba como que estaba en una discoteca. <laughs> All right, but now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yo, wow. Si se siente el boom, dije yo así. Let's check. Very good job, yo. Let's go with Gaby Molina. You are Sara. Samuel Flores, you are comic. Action. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has in Japanese a still breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soap. Fish for breakfast? That is very interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Bravo, excellent. Gaby and Samuel. Gaby me gustó mucho que se fijó que casi me decía interesting, pero le dijo interesting. Excellent, very good. Así me gusta, right? Ustedes que estén pendientes de cómo lo están haciendo. Ahora bien, Samuel, repeat after me. Japanese style. Japanese style. Yes, y también déjeme ver, ah, always. Always. Mm -hmm, exactly, la L no se pronuncia, right, always. Está como la palabra answer, de respuesta, se escribe con W y en ese caso no se pronuncia la, la W, sino que solo se dice answer. En este caso la L no se pronuncia, right, solo decimos always. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, my friend. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con Damaris hmm. Isabel. Ustedes, Sara, Carla, Melissa, you are comical. Action. Okay. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? Why well, it's only healthy fish, rice, and soap. Each for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat peach for breakfast, but I like to uh, treat me ding. All right, Thanks. excellent, you guys. Very good job. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, Damaris. Let me check, Damaris, and repeat after me, together. To get, together. Yeah, together. Excellent. Together. Yes. Vaya, miren, si me vieron haciendo una cara extraña cuando ustedes estaban pasando, no eran ustedes, sino que me cayó el café encima. Ok, it wasn't for you guys. Okay. Now let's check. Si me vieron haciendo una cara como de ogra, no era por ustedes. Es que me quemé. Now let's go with the next one. Uh, let me check. Vamos con Marlon. Marlon, you are Sara. And... 
Jonathan Burgos, you are Kumiko. Action. Let's have a breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese type breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soap. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. Uh, we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. That's correct. Excellent, sir. Very positive mind. <laughs> Let me, let me tell you something, guys. The purpose of, three, of these conversations, el propósito de estas conversations, es que ustedes vayan agarrando un poco más de fluidez, right? Que se nos quite el miedo. A veces nos dicen cuando estamos estudiando, usted tiene que crear la conversation, right? Y usted la va a poner y todo. Entonces nos quedamos en blanco. Ok, pero aquí ya tienen ustedes las conversations y les ayuda a poder tener un poquito más de fluency, right? Entonces, cuando usted evita eh, leer palabra por palabra, sino que trata de leer ya de corrido, it's great. It's good for you. Now, let's move on to the next one. Eh, Blanca Hernández, you are Sara. Let me check. Lorena Álvarez, usted no ha pasado, ¿verdad? No. Okay, you are Kumiko. Action, Blanca. Hola, lo siento. Hello. Eh, let's have breakfast. So, eh, ¿Cómo se dice? Eh? Together. Together. On Sunday. Together Sunday. Okay, come on. My house, my family, always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Riley, what do you have? We use, uh, ¿cómo se dice in it? We usually. We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Uh, fish for breakfast, break, the intelligence. Interest. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Uh, well, I never eat fish for breakfast. 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 Uh, but I like to remember. I like uh, to try. I like to try. New. New. Things. Things. Excellent. Things. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> girls. Now, let's check. You're welcome. Bye. Vamos a hacer énfasis en some words that we are still reinforcing, all right? Vamos a continuar, eh, ¿cómo se dice? Mejorando. Sunday, la uno suena, right? Suena como o, casi Sunday. Bueno, más que como a, entre o o a. Sunday, right? No decimos Sunday, es Sunday. Eh, luego, interesting, que eso media vez lo vayamos utilizando a menudo en nuestras conversations. Cuando alguien le diga algo, ustedes pueden decir, oh, that's interesting, all right? Para que ustedes empiecen a utilizarlo y se les haga más fácil memorizar. Ok, that's pretty much it. Let's move on. Let's see. What do you have for breakfast? We have three different countries, all right? Tenemos tres, tres países distintos. We got the U.S. No me vayan a decir the USA porque no tienen la E ahí. The U.S. Japan and Mexico. Ah, otra palabra que vi por aquí. All right. Japanese. No decimos japonese ni japonés. Decimos Japanese. Japanese. Entonces aquí es Japan and Mexico. El de México se parece al de nosotros. <laughs> All right. Let's check. The U.S. They eat. Ellos comen eggs, bacon, toast with butter, orange juice, coffee, jam, or jelly. Right? Ya sea jamón o mermelada. 
cualquiera de esas dos cosas consumen ellos con el pan, el famoso pan de caja, right? Como sandwich. In Japan, it's totally different. They eat fish, rice, soup, pickles. Pickles es pepinillos, right? Cucumbers es pepino, en su forma natural y su estado fresco. Pickles es pepinillo, ya el que viene envasado, right? Green tea y té verde. Mexico. They eat, ellos comen eggs, beans, tortillas, no tortillas. Tortillas, fresh fruit, sweet bread, coffee with milk, <laughs> pan dulce y café con leche. <laughs> All right, that's why I told you guys. Por eso les dije, este, este, el desayuno de México se parece más al de, el de los salvadoreños. All right, <laughs> let's see. Um, let me check. Vamos a iniciar con Kenia Corvera, please. Léame el vocabulario de U.S. Gaby Molina, usted va a ser Japan y Samuel Flores, usted va a ser México. All right? No van a esperar a que yo los llame. Media vez su compañero termine, van ustedes. Action, Kenny. Ok. The U.S. Eggs, bacon, toast with butter, orange juice, coffee, jam jelly. Japan. Fish, rice, sap, ticket, Green tea. Mexico. Eggs, beans, tortillas, fresh fruit, sweet bread, coffee with milk. Excellent. Very good. Gaby, repeat after me. Pickles. Pickles. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Pickles. Así se pronuncia. Aunque se escribe pickles, se pronuncia pickles. All right. Now let's go with another three people. Vamos con otras tres personas. And Karen Escalante, you are the US. Diego Calderón, you are Japan. Katia Cangura, you are Mexico. Don't wait for me to call. No esperen a que yo los llame, solo finalice su compañero e inicien ustedes. Action, Karen. The U.S. eggs, bacon, toast with butter, orange juice, coffee, jam, and jelly. Japan. Fish, rice, soap, pickles, uh, green tea. Mexico. Eggs, beans. Tortilla, fresh fruit, sweet bread, coffee. With All right, excellent, Katia. Just remember tortillas. All right. And Diego and Karen, excellent job too. All right. Thank you so much for your participation. Let's go with the next one. Marlon, you are the US. Jonathan Burgos, you are Japan. And. Dun, 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 dun. A ver, ¿quién me falta? Lorena Álvarez, you are Mexico. Action. Um, the U.S. Eggs, bacon, toast with butter, orange juice, coffee, ham or jelly. Yes. Jelly. No. Ah, jelly. Beach, rice, soap, salt. Eggs, beans, tortillas, fresh fruit, wheat bread, coffee with milk. All right, repeat after me, Lorena. Sweet. Sweet. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Very good That's participation. Me. Now let's go with Carla Melissa. You are the U.S. Damaris Isabel, you are Japan. And let me see. Blanca Hernández, you are Mexico. Action. The U.S. Eggs, bacon, toast, white butter, orange rice, coffee, jam, or jelly. Japan, fish, 
right? So, because we take Uh, Mexican eggs, bed, torts, fresh, tortillas, tortillas, fresh, fresh fruit, fresh fruit, is with bread, bread, coffee with milk. Excellent. Thank you, girls. Very good. Girl power. <laughs> Let's check. Um, Carla Melissa, repeat after me. Orange juice. Orange juice. Excellent, very good. That's the correct one. Así es como debe de ser. Now, everybody, teacher, ya vimos este vocabulary. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Obviamente, van a practicar. All right. A mi Sareva no le encanta que ustedes practiquen. Let's see. What do you have for breakfast? ¿Qué desayunas? Um, I have one boiled egg with butter and bread. All right. Un huevo hervido, o un huevo duro, con mantequilla y pancito. That's it, right? Parece chiste, pero en Francia eso come. La gente se mantiene delgada. <laughs> let's see, let's go with the next one. Vamos a ver, yo les voy a preguntar a dos personas, what do you have for breakfast? Pero no les, no les voy a preguntar ahorita, sino que les voy a dar un minutito para que ustedes escriban su oración. De qué es lo que ustedes desayunan, ¿ok? Luego le voy a preguntar a dos personas y luego se van a preguntar entre ustedes mismos, ¿ok? So, one minute for you to write down your sentence. Un minuto o menos de un minuto para que usted escriba su oración. I have o or I eat, all right? Okay, time's up. Let's check. Uh, voy a empezar a preguntarle. Tengo algún voluntario que quiera pasar conmigo como demonstration? Yes, Gaby, excellent. That's my friend. Let's see. What do you have for breakfast, Gaby? I eat omelet, pancake mm -hmm. with bananas, with uh, honey, 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 honey. All right, excellent. You don't drink coffee. Mm. <gasps> Me hace daño. Ah, oh, well, <laughs> yeah, God. Just ya no. Tiene que ver con el café. Okay, excellent, Gabby. Very good. Thank you. Let's check. Very healthy, actually. Bien saludable. Let's see. And Karen Escalante, what do you have for breakfast, Karen? I have one chocolate egg with onion, beans, bread, and coffee sometimes. Yes, very good, very healthy, very Salvadorian style. Let's go with the next one, bye. Ahora le voy a pedir a Kenia Corvera que usted Escoja uno de sus compañeros, ya Karen y Gaby ya pasaron conmigo, ¿ok? Usted escoge a alguien, usted le pregunta a Kenia y luego esa persona también le va a preguntar a usted. So, ok, usted le... okay. quiero ver... Lorena Álvarez. Excelente. A ella me la puedo. <risa> Qué buen objetivo. <risa> Qué bien, bueno, vamos yo. A <laughs> okay. Comienzo preguntando, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes. yes. Okay. What do you have for breakfast? I have breakfast, fats, eggs, beans, tortillas, and coffee. 
Okay. Ahora usted le pregunta, Lola. Okay. What do you have for breakfast? Uh, I have a bread with cheese uh, and milk. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, girls. Let's go with Diego Calderon. Okay, Diego, choose or select someone from the crowd. Escoja I know. <laughs> I know. I know. Um, Marlon. Marlon, ok. Usted pregunta a Diego y luego Marlon contesta y luego él le pregunta y usted contesta. Ok. Eh, Mar Marlon, what do you have for breakfast? Um, actually, no. Uh, I eat in my breakfast. Um, cereal with meal and sometimes I like to put in um, bananas or, or, or whatever that's it <laughs> whatever <laughs> no, yeah, okay. maybe cooking <laughs> maybe um, I don't know strawberry strawberry yeah oh. maybe no. I mean, the uh, fruit. ¿No le vas a poner una naranja cereal? Mm, no, yo a veces le pongo pan dulce. Ah, cereal. Sí. Let me Sorry. try that. Mañana lo pruebo. <laughs> pues continue, continue, guys. <laughs> um, what do you do have for breakfast? Uh, for breakfast, um. I have a milkshake, um, bread, uh, beans, cheese, and it's all, I think. That's all. <laughs> okay, excellent. Very good. Very good, you guys. Now, let's go with the next one. Vamos con la siguiente pareja. Damaris, Damaris, select someone, please. Escoja a alguien. Le voy a decir quiénes no han pasado. No ha pasado Samuel, no ha pasado Katia, no ha pasado Jonathan, ni Blanca, ni tampoco eh, Carla Melissa. Uh, Blanca. Ok. Usted pregunta, Blanca, Damaris, y Blanca responde. Ok. Blanca, what do you have for breakfast? Um, I have uh, bananas for breakfast, which uh, brings beans and coffee with milk. Okay, delicious. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, it's the category <laughs> of food. Uh, now, uh, Blanquita, ask Damaris. Ahora usted le pregunta a Damaris. Okay. What do you have for breakfast? breakfast? Okay, I usually have pancake or cereal um, with fruit um, or yogurt with fruit. Um, how do you say avena? Hot meal. Uh, hot meal. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, wow, the money is so healthy. <laughs> Let's check. Qué extraño, nadie ha dicho que comen pupusas. En otro curso anterior, esto me decía que comían pupusas in the morning. It's more en easy. la cena, en la cena, sí. Ah, bueno, in the morning. Yeah, many people. Sometime in the morning. No. No. Vez una it's better, it's better. It's better, it's better eat pupusas in the morning. Yeah, in the morning with a hot chocolate. No. Yeah, it's better yeah, in, I in, the night. Chocolate. in the night. No, it's not. It's better at any time. And, and <laughs> yes, of course. Specific. Oh, and they, they, how do you say, special, special day. I don't like pupusas in, in, in the lunch, in the lunch. 
Ah, at lunch, at lunch. All right, all right. Yeah. Si se, si, si se te atraviesan una por ahí, <risa> yeah. si no hay, ya no hay almuerzo, ni modo. Ah, bueno, ahí sí. Yeah. Real life, así pasa en la vida real. Ok, <risa> let's go with Samuel. Samuel, usted escoja a alguien. Tenemos a Carlita, tenemos a Katia y a Jonathan. Creo que Jonathan no ha pasado tampoco. Ah, uh, Carla. Ok, excelente. Usted pregunta a Samuel y luego Carla contesta. Y vice versa. What do you have for breakfast? I had one apple, apple and um, bread with coffee. Mm -hmm. What do you have for breakfast? Samuel, what do you have for breakfast? I have cereal with milk and bananas. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. Very good. Both of you, very healthy, ambos. Bien saludados. Now, let's go with the last pair. Eh, vamos a unir a Jonathan. Usted le va a preguntar a... Let me see, let me see. ¿Quién le falta? Teacher, así estoy bien, gracias. <laughs> Qué barbaridad. No, usted le va a preguntar a Katia Canjura. All right. Action. Uh, what do you have for breakfast? I have for breakfast beans, eggs, cheese, and bread, and coffee. Mm -hmm. What do you have for breakfast? I have breakfast um, bread, bread with eggs and coffee. Excellent. Very good. Yeah, simple breakfast. Nailed it, all right? Los, desayune, los desayunos fáciles son lo mejor. Porque, pues, no quita tanto el tiempo. Okay? Now, let's check. Uh, adverbs of frequency. Let's see. We have always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, Never. Pero tenemos aquí la frase eat breakfast, así que lo voy a hacer con eso, ¿ok? I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I often eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast. I never breakfast, all right? Hay personas que, en serio, nunca desayuno, all right? For example, me. <laughs> All right. Uh, I have lunch and I have snacks and I have dinner. But as I'm always sleeping in the morning, I don't have breakfast. And then that's what happens. Right. So you are able to use never in those cases. Ya les voy a poner esta otra slide que tiene los mismos adverse of frequency. Son los mismos. Ok. Pueden continuar copiando. Solamente que aquí les aparecen ya con los porcentajes. Cuando, teacher, ¿cómo saber cuándo voy a utilizar uno? ¿Cuándo lo puedo cambiar por otro? Let's see. Always, it's when you are talking 100%. Cuando es el 100% del tiempo, right? Always. O sea, que usted, no hay día de Dios que usted no coma desayuno. O no coma, right? 80% usual. 70% often. 50% sometimes. 25% hardly ever. 0% never. Así se pronuncia, everybody. Per, all right? Per, como si tuviera E. Percent. Percent. Ese es el por ciento, right? Let's start. Ahora les voy a pedir a ustedes que me digan el vocabulary. Vamos a iniciar con Karen Escalante, please. Tell me the vocabulary. Desde 100 hasta 0. Andre always. I see, teacher. Yes. What change that teacher? 80%? 80%, 80 usually. 70%? 70% often. By 15% sometimes. 25% hardly ever. 
hardly ever, and zero percent never. Excellent. Very good, Karen. Thank you. Let's go with Damaris, and after Damaris, Diego Calderon. Okay, action, Damaris. Okay. Um, Hunda always puts in um, as the um, 80 percent usually, um, 70 percent of percent. Often. Con it, percent. First percent. Um, 15% percent sometimes. Um, 25 percent error. Zero percent never. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Damaris, for your effort. Let's go with you. 100 percent percent uh, always uh, 80 per percent usually 7 percent often uh, 50 percent sometimes 25 percent hardly ever and zero percent never excellent very good let's go with samuel flores samuel flores 100 Percent. 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 Always. Mm -hmm. 80. Usually. Sorry. Uh, 80. Percent. 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 Usually. 70. Per percent. Mm -hmm. Often. 50. Percent. Sometimes. 25 hardly, 25 percent hardly ever. Zero ne percent never. Excellent. Thank you, Samuel. Thank you for your effort. You guys may ask him. Es probable que ustedes se pregunten, ¿por qué no está haciendo pronunciar el percent, el porcentaje? Porque así como usted lo utiliza en español, es decir, 100% de la población o el 70% de la población, así se utiliza también en inglés, right? For most of the things, right? Para la mayoría de cosas, cuando estamos dando percentage, cuando estamos dando porcentajes, decimos eso. Entonces, es mejor que usted desde aquí de la clase se acostumbre a decir eso, esa frase. Let's go with Katia Canjura. Action, Katia. 100% always 80% usually percent con sería p e r percent ¿Cómo? p e r percent percent mm -hmm. okay. 70% often 50% something eh, 25% Harder ever, zero percent, never. Excellent. Thank you, Katia. Very good. All right, everybody. Hagamos la, mm, la diferencia entre sometimes y something. Something is así, everybody. All right. Pero sometimes es diferente. Hay que enfocarnos en pronunciar las cosas. Son sometimes y something es diferente. All right. Let's go with the last one. Vamos con la última persona, Marlon Escalante, please. Okay, 100% always, 80, 80, I'm sorry, 18% usually, 70% uh, or 70? 70% or 70, okay. 17% uh, often, 15% uh, something, Sometimes, 25% hardly ever, and 0% never. That's correct, sir. Excellent. Very good. Now, para los que no pasaron ahorita en los percentage, vamos a ponerlos aquí a practicar. Guiding examples. Do you ever have pasta for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Let's see, eh, vamos a pedirle a Lorena Álvarez, please, léame la pregunta y las respuestas. 
Do you ever have pasta for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Excellent. Very good. Let's have Carla Melissa, please. Read the question and the answers. Did you ever have pasta for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Excellent. Thank you. And the last one, Blanca, please. Blanca Hernandez, creo que es. Léame la pregunta y las respuestas, please. Okay. Uh, do you ever have pass have pass for breakfast? Yes, I always, always do. Always do. Always do. So, uh, ¿cómo se dice acá? Sometimes. Sometimes I do. Sometimes. No, I never do. Excellent. Thank you, Blanca. All right. Excellent. Now, my dear students, that is pretty much it for today's class. In tomorrow's class, para la clase de mañana vamos a finalizar con esto, ¿ok? Que nos hace falta. Y vamos a terminar la, completamente la sección 4, right? Y probablemente vamos a iniciar la 5. All right, everybody. Eh, get a lot of rest, please. And I will see you tomorrow, please. Mañana se conectan a la hora que es, ¿ok? No me vayan a estar entrando más tarde. Bye. Take See care. Have a good night. Have a good night. See you tomorrow.